Kyle Kuzma might be leaving, guys. I'm a Washington Wizards fan, as you guys know. Well, Wizards, Timberwolves, Magic fan. Hard to explain. Guys, let me know what you guys think of this new little setup right here. But let's talk Kyle Kuzma. Again, let me know of the new setup with the video right here. I'm visiting my folks. And I just wanted to try something out while I'm not in my normal studio. Because maybe we'll bring this back to the studio setup. But Kyle Kuzma, a man who's having a great year. And we've reported about him a lot that there is reasons to why people believe he could potentially be on the move. And the reason people believe he could be on the move is he's expected to make 20 to $25 million. And he wants to play for a contender. And he's kind of made it seem, from what I've heard from my sources, which are, you know, The Athletic and any other source you guys read, just, I just process a high volume of information, is that... He reportedly wants, he's doing it in a nice way, but he's basically telling us, like, guys, I don't think you guys are contenders. I don't think you're going to pay me the money. And the Wizards are a team that they're, they have to make a decision between Christoph Porzingis or, or Kyle Kuzma. It's looking like they're choosing Christoph Porzingis as the guy they're going to resign. So let's get right into it and talk about it. First off, shout out Ava Wallace of the Washington Post. And Kyle Kuzma has played his best basketball in two seasons with the Washington Wizards. That improvement has Kyle Kuzma thinking about free agency this coming summer. As I aforementioned, Kyle Kuzma is in, you know, being rumored to potentially go into free agency and he will be signing a deal worth 20 to $25 million a year, four to five years. So he will be looking to be making between $80 million to $125 million. And this is why Kyle Kuzma said he won't sign an extension with the Washington Wizards. And he plans to decline his player option for the 2023-24 to season. The veteran forward will then become an unrestricted free agent. This upcoming free agency class is considered a relatively weak free agent class. Kyle Kuzma could be poised to cash in as he might be one-off, if not the best player available. He should get a first-year salary well north of $20 million. An extension with Washington, Kyle Kuzma could get a first-year salary of just $16.25 million. So simple economics tells you right there, I'm not going to stay. While you got Kyle Kuzma averaging 21.4 points, a career high, almost 10 rebounds and 3.6 assists, while shooting career best 46.2% from the field. So, do you... The question comes down now, okay, that is it in your interest to keep Kyle Kuzma on this roster? Is Kyle Kuzma the guy that you guys need? Yes, it brings up questions if that's really what we're trying to build here. Because for me, this is a fun team. This is a fun team with Kyle Kuzma on them. And I like what the Wizards are building. I know it has translated to success. But there's a reason why we're hearing the Los Angeles Lakers, okay, the Utah Jazz, the Atlanta Hawks. And if we're aware that we can't keep Kyle Kuzma, I think it's in our best interest. As a Wizards fan, let's call up and get John Collins. Let's call up and get somebody to replace. We've heard maybe potentially Jared Vanderbilt's on the move. And the Jazz and the Suns have an interest in Kyle Kuzma. Okay, what if you send me Jay Crowder and Jared Vanderbilt? I'm fine with Jay Crowder and Jared Vanderbilt for Kyle Kuzma. Maybe you send me John Collins. Yes, he's a bit more expensive, but once that salary cap jumps, now I got Collins and Porzingis locked up future. Beal, we got ourselves Casper Deniavia that I believe in. So having the possibilities of being able to trade Kuzma now, I think you need to be taking advantage before we lose him for nothing. Okay? Because we will gain more value from him if we trade him at the deadline or sooner rather than later than letting him walk in free agency. Because at the end of the day, it's not worth letting a guy walk in free agency if you're not getting anything back. I'm a fan of signing trades, but again, signing trade does not beat a straight up good old fashioned trade mid season. A mid season trade, we saw brought us Kyle Kuzma, not my Kyle Kuzma, my apology, Christophe Porzingis who helped unlock Kyle Kuzma. So we'll see what ends up happening now. I also need a haircut because I think my hair is getting a bit too poofy. So I hope you guys do enjoy this. That was basically everything from me today. Till next time, guys.
Zero, zero. <laughs> I love it.